Namaste to one and all. Welcome to my channel. Today's our topic is Art Integrated Learning and uh, Art Integrated Project. More details. We already know for the art integration, we can uh, use the music, dance, visual arts and theatre. In the visual arts already craft also included. CBSE has given several suggested activities. There is CBSE has given certain suggested activities uh, about visual arts, about, that is the pictorial activities. So here, we, just we can watch what are the uh, activities, suggestive activities given by CBSE on visual arts. Suggestive activities given by CBSE on visual arts and first one we can see the study of visual resources study of visual resources at home in the surroundings and means of creative expressions so the suggestive activities based on visual arts by cbsc they are first one study of visual resources at home in the surroundings and means of creative expressions at the same time uh, according to this activity, CBSC asked to integrate these subjects Environmental Studies, Languages, Social Science, Science, Physics, Chemistry, Biology Yes, these are uh, seven subjects also given And here the science, uh, maybe it is written separately Maybe uh, lower divisions uh, we used to say science instead of the branches of science. So these are the subjects we have to, uh, the CBSE has given the suggested subjects, that is all. It means that if we needed, explore and find out some other subjects also we can. But the activities given here are they. And uh, now we can uh, have a watch uh, on at home in the surroundings and uh, means of creative expressions through certain through some photographs let us watch From the photographs and pictures, we can identify certain objects that is tables, chairs, almara, carpet, lamp, cushion, window, door, flower vase, sofa, wall hangings and uh, from this shapes, uh, the table, we can see that is rectangle, then uh, uh, round table then different colors and different color combinations also you can see then glass that uh, regarding the lamp the, what's the glass used there what is the metal used inside there then the wood uh, cloth etc you can identify the children will identify these things so at regarding at home then while we move through the in the surroundings the natural vegetation the plants or the bushes or the trees grow themselves without the aid of human being that is natural vegetation and uh, uh, river then uh, birds animals etc that we can see and uh, seasons also given there there is spring summer 
autumn and winter most of it here we are experiencing uh, these are most of it autumn uh, winter most of it is experiencing some other countries and uh, here we are uh, india we are most of it we are experiencing monsoon monsoon occur that is we get the rainfall from the wind that blows from uh, arabian sea or wind that blows from the uh, indian ocean it is crossing the uh, equator and it is blowing on the uh, western coastal side of india that is how india is getting the monsoon first by the end of may or the early june so regarding monsoon and the monsoon sometimes create a flood also and so this is associated that is why not that is why i wrote the flood also i given some picture regarding flood also when the river banks the banks of the river overflows with water what happens a flood uh, the nearby area may be submerged into water and uh, it will lead to some disasters uh, and uh, so here then the means of creative expressions uh, through certain drawings uh, it has been given there and uh, so it is most often this is related to this you can see the emotions most of the uh, uh, the literature it is connected most more, more with the literature they can write the poems they can write the stories they can show their feelings and emotions through their words so yes so then what uh, what is the importance of this study of visual resources ask the child especially in the uh, smaller classes ask the child to uh, speak about it sometimes it is difficult to write the you know? so they ask them to speak about it ask them to write about it then narrate write lyrics draw paint to paint shade through this the learning process that is teaching and learning process will Uh, go and uh, so these are the different ways how the pictorial activities can be associated that is i uh, told already the art integrated learning ail is only a pedagogical tool art education is also associated there but uh, it is not so important that what you are drawing whether it is perfect or not through a drawing just to show them that uh, this is what is happening through a drawing just uh, um, the child is understanding that is all we are giving importance on the outcome of the subject uh, that is what you have learned what topic you have learned whether the child has learned the topic maybe um, uh, the teachers or the students may not be so perfect regarding the drawing that is not a matter at all even though education uh, art education is included in the curriculum and uh, so like that and uh, so and one thing more i want to tell here again uh, some of the had the, uh, the, ex, uh, the doubt regarding art integrated learning and integrated project art integrated learning ail is associated with the first standard to 12th standard and integrated project is associated with the rich children they have to do the integrated project from first standard to 8th standard and 9 10 11 12 they have to focus on subject enrichment project subject enrichment project and 6 7 8 they can do the or they have to do the culinary art forms also then another suggested activity by cbsc is regarding study of lines strokes colors shades tones textures two dimensional space with two dimensional and three dimensional space and uh, spaces and forms here we can see that uh, lines are important and uh, with the different lines we can see the uh, that is squares we can see think whether it is square i think so squares then with the lines we can see the rectangles uh, sorry uh, is rectangles we can see then with the lines we can form the uh, triangles we can form and uh, strokes uh, and the strokes are also um, important how the uh, lines comes in a slanting position slanting way as it comes uh, you can see that uh, strokes are also important all these are important in regarding maths uh, physics then textile design then fashion designs uh, we are using and different color colors and shades are, are also used uh, in textiles 
and in text series and uh, so suppose the rain comes uh, we can see that uh, the, the this way we used to draw that is regarding the motion of the water or the movement regarding physics uh, uh, we can uh, see that the uh, how the energy how the electricity is yes, regarding electricity also positive and negative there also we can see that some uh, while we draw about the uh, generation of electricity this way lines we have to draw and uh, so this is connected to the maths physics textiles and uh, fashion designs and uh, as uh, is Kerala is concerned uh, we are relating to the Himachal Pradesh. In the Himachal Pradesh, the textile designs most often on the basis of the geometric pattern. Is yes, on the basis of the geometric pattern, you can see the assimilation of different shapes are there. And uh, so here, the integrated subjects under this is the maths, physics, textile design, and fashion design. Then coming to, yes, uh, so uh, here a wide range of explanation and uh, diagrams, you can, a wide range of uh, pictures you can see uh, in the uh, net if you search. And uh, yes, in the smaller classes you can see that suppose you draw this way lines, this way you can draw the lines and uh, yes. And uh, so we can ask that uh, is yes, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus that way you can see that you will get 5 is yes, used to draw the this way also you can see we used to make the tally marks 5 we can draw 5 and here also we are getting 5 here also you are getting 5 suppose you are learning the additions in the smaller classes 1 plus 1 plus 1 that way you can easily show that that we used to do and in the multiplication also is yes, uh, 5 into 3 3 Three sets are there. So, 5 into 3, you are getting 15. Ask them to learn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The, that way you are reaching the 15. This is easier method to understand the table regarding the multiplication table. And uh, this way also easily you can make a shade also here. See that this way you can do is yes. make the children more. Yes, and some color combinations you can use here. Yes, that way also you can get different shapes also with the, with the, by drawing the lines. Yes, next uh, suggestive activity is sketching from nature and uh, surroundings. Yes, we can draw the surroundings, nature that is sketching and uh, this will enable to learn different branches of subjects. Uh, they are architecture, maths, science, SS, so that is social science, languages, Accountancy, Economics, Biology, Home Science, Geography, Political Science, Environmental Studies. All this. So different subjects we can learn from the sketching from nature and the surrounding. Sketching from nature and surrounding. Most often when we ask the children to uh, draw uh, the nature or Mm -hmm. draw the surroundings or a uh, or a particular uh, natural uh, condition most often you can see that children used to draw two hills and a uh, uh, sunrise and uh, river then like that we, we know that uh, yes so the thing is that just knowing about the the surroundings uh, and uh, uh, here these are the Three topics I told regarding and here what are the subjects uh, in, can be integrated or in different subjects also we can integrate. But the CBSC suggestive subjects regarding this uh, activity is the following. Then, then coming to the fourth point, creative. And that is I put the number that only some of the uh, um, suggestive activities I had taken. And uh, creative use of colors, 
uh, to show space, atmosphere and uh, subjective moods. That is creative use of colors. We are using some colors and from the color combination, we are able to know about this atmosphere and space and uh, what about the um, condition of the emotions of a person. That is a subjective mood. Subjective, the, what is the mental condition regarding a person. That can also be uh, illustrated, that can also be uh, explained with these colors and so that we can say that it can be used in science, geography, languages and environmental studies. Then coming to the next, uh, we can see that the calligraphic strokes, calligraphy, that is art of writing the letters, you know, that is helpful to know about languages, maths and history. Then another one is use of media and techniques. With the help of media and with the help of the technology, is a several subjects we can learn, several subjects we can teach. What are they? Biology, chemistry, accountancy, economics, business studies, languages, uh, home science, uh, geography, history, and entrepreneurship. Then coming to the another um, uh, material or another media here we can use is the pencil with the charcoal, watercolor, crayon, oil color, acrylic color and different types of colors are there, different types conventional, non-conventional. Uh, methods we can use and uh, that also enable you to understand accountancy, business studies, economics, history, geography and home science. Then pay and where these colors can be used uh, on painting surfaces, pay, that is uh, on papers, uh, the painting surface or the papers, smooth, maybe smooth, maybe rough, thick, thin etc and it can be canvas hardboard even the cloth uh, pasted on paper can also be done here then another one is the collage making as you are so familiar with the making the collage then mosaic work the printed papers photography newspapers that is from photography we can take from the newspapers and magazines which is also can be used for the business studies economics geography political science and home science we can use it as paper cutting some important events is some important activity, some important governmental projects or people, those who are engaged in certain projects, all this we will get some different events also we will get from these newspapers and magazines that can also be used as making collage or mosaic work or printed papers or photography, newspapers, magazines, etc. Then we can see that mono printing. That is printing with the woodcut blocks, woodcut blocks that can also be uh, easier to understand regarding the concept in mathematics and uh, serigraphy. Serigraphy means uh, the basic uh, thing is silk with the silk, on silk the printing can be done. That is the uh, serigraphy, you know the sericulture like that it is related to silk. And uh, another most modern thing I want to mention here is uh, computer graphics. Yes. Regarding the computer teachers are concerned regarding computer application, this computer graphics can be used. It can be used in design arts and economics, geography, the political science and home science it can be used. So just I had taken majority of the activities I had taken and uh, this is the suggestive subjects integration, topics integration what the CBSC has uh, asked uh, to do that. I think at least some idea you got how to do the, how the learning process can be undertaken in the class and as an outcome as how they can do the project, how the children can do the project with a different perspective.